All right, Vinny, look. Your company and your family. I've already gotten to the top item on my feed. I feel like it's only fair to get to the top item on your feed as we start the four o'clock hour. Those checking us out on Sirius Channel 211, Peacock TV, YouTube. Here it is. We're talking about the easiest thing. I love this. I love list. USA Today came up with the 75 greatest players in NBA history. Why? Because the NBA is 75, 75 years old. And last time we did this, I can't believe it, man. It's like 1996. I remember that like yesterday. Here we are, 2021, 25 years later. Here we go. So top 75 players, and there is a top 10 of the 75. I saw that you wrote on your feed, Vinny. You said USA Today made a list and did not check it twice. I think that's some criticism. So the floor is yours. What do you want to criticize? I want to say it's necessarily criticism because it's USA Today. It's not the NBA's official uh, top 75. And let me make this make this clear. <clears throat> I'm not voting on a, a top 75 like numbering them. I think that's an impossible task. So I give the voters a lot of grace. The overall list was actually not too bad. Like I know you like to believe that LeBron James is number one and everybody else falls behind. So you might have uh, some slight beef there, but I will say this, Elgin Baylor being number 19, that might be a little low. Hakeem Olajuwon being yeah, in the teens, low. a little low. That's low. Isaiah Thomas being number 24, or maybe, I think it's 24. That's high. That's a little low. No, that's, no, that's low. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. 24? Isaiah Keep Thomas? 24? It, you don't yes. think that's high? That's that's slightly low, okay. in my opinion. Slightly low. I know. Okay. Slightly low. Okay. Slightly, I know. Slightly low. Like you said, slightly you low. represent Detroit, and I respect it. You re you represent. I Detroit represent. And I respect. It. I represent truth and objectivity. That's what I. That's what I represent. This is not. It's not my heart okay. speaking, Michael Holly. It is literally just basketball facts. That's all. So we're good. Okay. Like, I think. Like I said, I think it's an impossible task. Let me ask you this: If if Gary can pull up the screen, did you have a problem with anybody? In the top ten, Larry Bird, in my opinion, might have been yeah. a little low. I think we we Larry Bird might get short thrift right. in in this basketball goat discussion because okay. he was damn great. He's, all right, uh, all right. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. Uh, look, you think you, go, Shaq you better watch your tone? Ten... You better watch your tone. Shaq, watch your tone. Check your tone. Hey, is Shaq one of the 10 best players in NBA history? I don't think so. 10. Now, Shaq might be, this is, this is debatable because I say Shaq is somewhere between 13 and 18, 19. Ooh. So Shaq, if we're talking about just pure dominance, just like the ability to physically overpower somebody, then Shaq has got to be one. Like the most impressive, immovable. You you talked about immovable objects earlier. Shaq, the immovable object. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's got to be one. But did you ever say to yourself, and, and if you did, so be it. I've never said to myself at any point, even in Shaq in his prime, if I'm starting a team, I'm starting with Shaq. I never said, I'm going to start my team with Shaq, and I'll be in great shape. You never he's said gonna that? He's going to be my building block. I never you said never that. said nope. that. Nope, I never did. Ooh, your, honor, like I'll, your, your honor, I will. Your honor, I would happens. like to call. Your honor, I would like to call Michael Holly uh, to the stand for perjury, because that man is lying. He is absolutely lying right now. You mean to tell me Shaq at the absolute peak of his powers? Let's just say from '99 to 2001, that three-year stretch, even that last year or that three-peat, he started gaining weight. But let's just say from the lockout year of '99, mm -hmm. the first Michael Jordan mm -hmm. post year, to 2001, mm -hmm. and then where the Lakers ran through the league, yeah. who were you taking over him? Allen Iverson, his Chris teammate. Carter. Who? His teammate. His Don't teammate. Do that. Don't do that. Kobe, Bean, Bryant. Yes, yes. And, and now I would say. I always, that was easy. I knew you were going to ask me that. I was ready. I always thought Kobe. Kobe was the key. And I, apparently the Lakers agreed. The Lakers agreed. 
They agreed because later. Because came down. They agreed later. They didn't agree during the stretch of that I was talking about when Shaquille O'Neal was the Maybe most dominant should've. force ever. Look, you can make the argument that Kobe was close to being Shaq's equal in the last championship, maybe the second to last championship in 2001 when they ran rough shot through the playoffs and only lost that one game uh, to Allen Iverson. In the oh, that was a great 76ers. run. That's right. Thank, yeah, but, thanks for bringing that up. That was a great team. I, I really loved that team. I did. But, but Shaquille O'Neal was the undoubted number one. Kobe Bryant came into his own a little bit after that from a, a standpoint of consistency. And I, w- and, I w- and I will always give Kobe Bryant a lot of respect from the standpoint of his ambition. He looked at Shaquille O'Neal, the most dominant player in the game, and said, I'm going to be better than you. I give a guy that. I will give Kobe Bryant that from just the standpoint of Shaq being 7'2", 330 pounds of, of granite, and Kobe saying, I'm going to be better than you. But let's, Michael Holly. I'm going to have to take your basketball card away. Yeah. Either that or I'm going to say yeah, you reneged. I'm, 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 going to, I'm going to say that you can't play yeah. space. Or I'm going to say that you're just right. flat out lying and that we're not going to do this show ever again if you're going to say that Kobe Bryant during that stretch that I'm naming, not the 2004 Kobe Bryant and the 2004 right, Shaq, I'm talking about Shaquille O'Neal, most dominant player immediately after Michael Jordan's real retirement. You are lying to the American people. I'm going to need you I might to be. step down and ask for forgiveness right now before we move any further. Ask for forgiveness I'm and maybe I'll let that. you back into basketball conversation. I need you to ask for forgiveness no, what right I need now, to Michael do Holly. I need, you, I need you to do that. Is, is, hey, Vinny, it's been a long time since I, I wrote a game story. I need to go back. I need to go back to the D League. Just learn how to cover a beat again. Learn how to interview people, the whole thing. I got to go back. A little remedial beat writer training. But I, I got to tell you this, in all seriousness, I'm a little nitpick. I'm a nitpick here. Can I nitpick between five and six? This go is ahead, a little nitpick. Boston. It is a little Boston talking. Oh. Bill Russell finished second, finished behind Wilt Chamberlain one time in his whole career. In his whole career, he finished behind Wilt once. And that was uh, the first year he was coaching. He, he he was occupied. Red Auerbach had retired. And he said, okay, Russ, I want you to coach. So the brother had to play and he had to coach. He had too much on his mind. That was the year uh, Wilt won the championship over Russell. Other than that, how you gonna put Russell behind Wilt when he always finished ahead of Wilt? Always. Why? 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 Because Wilt Chamberlain didn't play with you know, Bob Cousy and Sam Jones and everybody oh, else stop, or stop. play for Red oh, Arbor. Stop, stop, stop. Here's, here's what, here's what stop. I will say. I will give he you He played this. with Hal Greer, played with Billy play Cunningham. With he played with Hall of Famers here's and Billy Cunningham. Say. Here's what I will say. Just looking at Matthew Stafford from the standpoint of watching someone compile statistics, I can understand that compiling statistics doesn't always have an effect on winning, right? So I will give you, you that. Thank you. But Wilt Chamberlain's name is tattooed all through the NBA's history books and other places, I might add. But I will say this. I will Allegedly. say this. I'm going to no, question his, own his claim. accounting. By his own claim. I'm a, Look, I'm I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm questioning his, his counting. Like, you can't just count. Everyone can't count as 10, Will. It, it don't work like that, you know? Why, why I, can't it? I, I'm just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that was the case. I, what, 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 what I will say is this. Bill Russell had the greatest effect on winning, right? He had a greater effect on winning and maybe, and I, and I heard him in an interview years ago uh, when, when Bill was much more, Mr. Russell, I should say, was, was much more public. And he was like, look, I had to build my guys up. You know, I had to make sure that they were, that they were confident, that they were prepared and everything else. So I won't argue with you, even though I think that your Boston bias is starting to show. And Lord forbid, the Boston Celtics. Let's 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 be, let's let's take a step back, and let's say the Boston Celtics have gotten uh, the short end of the stick in terms of basketball history. Who could ever say such a thing? How th- the Boston Celtics, the team that get every single call every single year, and you gonna complain about five and six? Michael Holly, I'm not taking that. Boston always gets okay. the calls. They always get the calls that, in every sport. Yeah. Lot, shame the sport, devil won't tell the sport. truth. Shame the devil won't tell the truth, Michael Holly. Every sport. Okay. Every sport. All right. All right, all right listen, we have we've kind of danced around. Oh, here's it. So, I put a Keem. I put a Keem probably there where Shaq was. 
Mm. Kevin Durant's too low. Kevin Durant should be in the top 10 somewhere. I don't know who I'm going to take out. He should be in there. Moses Malone shouldn't be at 18. I put I take Moses over controversy. Here it is. I take Moses over Carl number two score in NBA history. I take Moses over Doc. I take Moses over Jerry West. So I take Moses over Oscar. Moses was the man. What are they talking about? Anyway, but let's go back to the number one. Let's go back to number one. Okay, one let's go two. back there. Let's go back there. Did they let's get that right? Did they get it right? In your opinion, they got I saw you they talk got, with. They you, got number one. You talk right. with number three. You they got number with one three. right. They got number one right. Recently, and they three could and right. three could, has a real case for one. Okay. Tell me why. Tell me why number one is correct. Michael Jordan is the best combination of best player and best career. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar had the greatest career. When you talk about six MVPs, you're talking about doing it in two places. You're talking about basically creating or uplifting the Lakers franchise, you know, from where they were. Absolutely. And playing until you were 42 years old and being relatively effective as a center in a center's league. You know, up until maybe his last two or three years, the Kareem falloff didn't really happen until he had reached 40 years old. So from a standpoint of a career, you can make the standpoint for him as number one. From the standpoint of being a basketball player, Michael Jordan had no structural flaws. And I hate saying that because where am I sitting? I am in Detroit. I grew up hating that man and all these other things, but I cannot tell a lie. I will not perjure myself here today, unlike, unlike you. You should be disgusted. I know you want to say LeBron should be number one, and you probably want to put Michael Jordan number three. But, you know, I, I have a divine sort, sort of honesty to basketball. I owe basketball my honesty. You apparently oh, don't listen, have that listen, basketball integrity. Michael Jordan I is the greatest basketball. basketball. I do. I, as a basketball scribe, as listen. a basketball writer by trade, I okay. owe basketball my honesty. You, my friend, have no integrity when you, when you make your list. I don't. No, I don't. You know, I know why? You don't. Cause I'm I mad now. Now you struck a nerve. You struck a nerve a little bit, and now you've taken me back to an area of deep pain. Uh, Benny, you know how many nights, nights I stayed up watching the NBA and dreaming about the NBA, and time I spent on the asphalt trying to get a jump shot to go in, and it never did. I can never score. I can never dribble. So basketball ain't do nothing for me. Basketball has hurt me. My entire time, and I ain't for really? five seven. I'm five seven. I'm tall. I ain't tall. Man. I can't jump. So what's basketball done for me? That's your fault. <laughs> you need to have a, you need to have a talk with the people who created your genetics, brother. Yeah, I do. I do. So so who's especially, your so who's your top three? So who's especially your top that three? dude? Especially who's that your dude. Top three? Okay. That yeah. Who's your who's your top three? Uh, no, they got they got the top three right. Uh, probably, I would. They have the top three right, but not in order. The right the, the right three people. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put LeBron at one. I'm gonna put Jordan at two, and Kareem at three. Because you talk about no structural flaws for Michael Jordan. I don't no. think LeBron James has any, has any structural flaws. Yes, he does. I don't think he, he can't does. shoot free throws. He can't shoot free throws. Okay, not a, 70 what? 70%? What's he a career 70% free throw shooter? Something like that? Yeah. And then and Jordan, Jordan's 80, 80 something. 84, probably 82. 84. This is off the top He's of like 84. He's at 84. And Jordan's 84% for his career? Yes. Yes. What's he? Yes. Yes. Woo! I stand corrected. But, okay. So advantage Jordan there. No flaw there from Jordan from the uh, from the free throw line. But LeBron is a better three point shooter than Jordan. So that kind of no, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't bit. do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. What? Don't do that. The, the three point oh, shot was not. The three you point shot was no. The three point shot was not emphasized. It was not a three point game at that point. And if we want to go to that yes, at age was. 33, no, it was not. It was not a three point shooting game. Don't do that. Don't I saw people. Michael Jordan. Hey, how about what his favorite clip? One of my favorite clips. Jordan running down the court, going, "Oh, I think he made six of them that night." If it wasn't a priority, he sure was taking a bunch of threes against the Portland Trailblazers in the finals. So the three-point line, he was aware of it. He just 
team not did not proficient. take threes. Larry Bird, we consider one of the greatest three-point shooters ever. He took less than two per game for his entire career. If Larry Bird played now, he'd be taking 11 a game. The three-point shot That's was right. introduced in 1980. It was not emphasized by 1990. It was not embraced basically until you had smaller teams going small, spreading the floor. When did Jordan, not, when did Jordan stop playing? Are we going to say the, the Washington time. Wizards count? Well, Okay, that counts. That? Yes, okay, it counts. Okay, I'm asking. I'm, I'm asking a question, Your Honor. He was playing I'm in merely, the 2000s. I'm merely asking the question, Your Honor. I'm asking the hey, question. He played. Okay, his he last played, game had, was in 2003. I mean, yes, yes. We had we had the internet. We had the internet when Michael Jordan was playing. We had color TV. We had air conditioning. Yes, we did. Like things happen. We yes, had we HD. Did. I mean, yes, he, he played. He played in a modern game too. And he played in an old is, school game and a new school game. And your point that is, he was not. A, he's not the three point shooter. That LeBron is so look there are no structural flaws in in LeBron there are no structural flaws in Jordan but LeBron's gonna have all the numbers except for maybe championships that Jordan has he's gonna exceed all his numbers he's gonna w wind up being the number one score in NBA history he'll be up there in assists he'll be up there in rebounds great player from Akron Ohio anyway hey look look at this hey man we got <laughs> You know what I say to that? <laughs> whoop the damn well, do. Okay. All right, whoop the do. How many? What? Four championships now? Four. 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 Great player. Okay. One of the one of the one oh, of the top players. three players of all time. One of the top three what players a, of all time. What What's the shame in that? Where's the shade in that? Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us three to five p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.